This is Jacobo with a quick little unscripted um, comparison between editing programs for Mac and I have used all of these and just wanted to help you make the decision if you're trying to choose one. Um, so of course first there comes with the Mac is iMovie which is actually a pretty decent program especially for beginners. Um, I have the iMovie 08. I also like the old one a lot better, it's just a lot simpler and I mean I had already moved on to Final Cut by the time 08 came out um, and it works alright but um, if you're just you know if you're making a wedding video and you're just mashing up footage you know it's fast it's easy you just click and boom import without setting all the in and out points it's I mean I still use that if it's just taking footage directly from the camera sticking on a DVD um, and I found this more the case with the old one, but actually, um, I mean, I use compressor now and stuff, but I found it's pretty good at actually converting files, um, so it'll put them in a new format about five times faster than compressor. I can bring them in here and move them over to Final Cut. That's actually worked great for me and saved a lot of time, so it's really good at accepting formats, and you know, we've got some little effects and stuff, um, so if if your project is really easy, iMovie is actually faster. Where it starts getting a lot slower and where you want new software, well, if you're wanting to do anything with more advanced effects, you know, it's only one layer, which really limits you. And even just if it's a lot of dialogue, um, you don't have a whole lot of freedom because, uh, let's say you have your clip here, and if you're doing a really good editing job, you'll probably want, you know, someone else to start talking before the camera switches to them because it's actually not very good editing if you only switch to who's talking every time and that's really hard to do because you only have one layer of video and it's just an enormous pain um, so if you really want to get um, really into editing you probably want to move up from there um, I, I think the path that I ended up taking ended up working really well um, and, seventh grade I got iMovie, in tenth grade I got Final Cut Express, and when I went to college I got Final Cut Studio. Um, so if you have a Mac you already have that so you're probably somewhat familiar if you're interested. Um, I wanted to look at Final Cut Express. This is actually a really good program and I mean it's pretty cheap. It's two hundred dollars which is great. And you know it's all the setup is virtually identical to Final Cut Pro, you know. Once I knew Final Cut Express, I was ready to hit the ground running with Final Cut Pro. Um, it was really easy to learn, whereas uh, Final Cut Express is a great way to start, you know, and it can do green screen. And But I wanted to talk a little bit about what's different, because really almost everything feels the same. I haven't noticed that many differences, you know, the setup, the tool palette, all these menus look pretty much the same as one another. Um, and I had heard one response that, oh, it's got more effects. And yeah, it has a couple more effects. But really, like, you shouldn't be paying that much more just for a couple effects. Um, because, you know, there's other programs that have thousands. You, you could get After Effects or Shake and get a whole bunch more effects and a lot more control. Because Final Cut's. Pro is not an effects program, it's not really meant for special effects. You should be looking at some other program to accomplish that um, because it's not great at pulling blue screen, green screen, or it's pretty terrible at doing masks unless you just want a cube or something or a circle. Um, but the main differences that I've noticed. Um, well, it has a lot, Final Cut Pro has a lot more file formats. Um, this one doesn't really do much HD, it's got, you know, HD 720 and HD 1080, but it, it doesn't really specify, and it's not very good at HD, um, and Final Cut, Final Cut Pro has a long, long string of maybe even hundreds of formats, which is really nice, because shooting with HD cameras, like, is really nice to have that flexibility, and you can do it in the exact thing you want. Um, also, I've just noticed Final Cut, um, especially with Snow Leopard, is just 
faster and can handle much much bigger projects and won't crash on, crash on you as much so like I had a hour long DV movie in Final Cut Express and it constantly is telling me I was out of memory or would have trouble and Final Cut Pro has just worked great for me uh, especially since I got Snow Leopard um, you know I'll be working in 1080p on a huge project files enormous films and it'll just work pretty smoothly it's I think the program is just meant to be able to handle a lot more and it is faster um, and uh, with Final Cut Express you have to pre-render a whole lot more stuff um, I can play a lot more real time in Final Cut Pro um, so I can just this was Final Cut Express I don't want to say that I can just shift over to Final Cut Pro and you can, um, so yeah it looks almost identical um, it's also got a couple organization thing but really what makes Final Cut Studio worth it is the fact that it is a studio you know uh, if, so Final Cut Express is two hundred dollars really um, well Final Cut Pro is used a lot in the professional world at my all my jobs I've been working at it's all Final Cut Pro so it's good to know that um, but it's not tons better than Final Cut Express especially if you're doing small projects because really the editing tools are the same the fact that it is a studio makes it completely worth it because you get you know six programs so you've got Soundtrack Pro, Motion, Final Cut Pro, Color, Compressor, DVD Studio um, you know DVD Studio is really great um, just because you can really customize your DVD and set your own look Soundtrack's pretty good you get thousands of loops and Motion I think is a pretty underrated program um, especially with um, you know casting all these 3D shadows and with the replicator I think that tool has a lot of potential as well as uh, the, the ability to emit particles and I love Color um, Color is one of my favorite programs it's it's a great program you know it, not too long ago it was thousands of dollars um, so really, yeah, the argument that effects are the only thing that make Final Cut Pro different do didn't really sell it for me, but I, I am really happy I got it, and um, Final Cut Express is a great way to get familiar with the interface and work on some projects, um, and then if you're doing effects, I would recommend Shake is a really cool program, um, not really that expensive, I think quite a bit better than After Effects. Um, I mean, I've used both quite a bit professionally and just especially with masking um, and camera tracking is just way, way better and green screen is a lot better than After Effects. But anyway, if you're looking to pick a software program, here is my tips. I can make another video if you have any more questions about differences between the software, but this is what I really feel um, is the main differences and yeah, Final Cut Pro is great.